this is actually the 30th anniversary of uh, a study that we did uh, where in, in a uh, factory in Utah, uh, we published this study showing they were they were harvesting potash from evaporation ponds, and we showed that if we improved the design of the work schedule, they had a they had a schedule where they were working seven consecutive uh, days, and then they would switch from day shift to night shift after one or two days off, and then from night shift to evening shift after another couple of days off each sequence being seven consecutive days long in a counterclockwise direction of shift rotation with a weekly change of schedules wreaking havoc on the body's circadian timing, the, the internal clock that governs our ability to sleep. And when we applied some simple circadian principles to the schedule so that it rotated in a clockwise direction and they spent several weeks at a time on a steady shift before moving to the next shift, and we increased the frequency of days off so they didn't work seven consecutive days off, days on, building up a sleep deficit. With those simple changes, they worked the same number of hours per week. Uh, the productivity and health indices that we measured went up dramatically. There was a 20% increase in the rate at which they harvested potash from the evaporation ponds with these huge front end loaders and whatnot. And when we published that article, in, in the month afterward, we had, we had uh, inquiries from a thousand factories from around the nation. Um, and essentially that old schedule was largely abandoned, that, that counterclockwise uh, rotating shift schedule. Unfortunately, a lot of them went ultimately to 12-hour shifts so that they could get two, two extra days off per week because when the change started happening, people thought about what kind of different, if, if, if it's open to be changed, and many of them gravitated toward that system, which we know increases the risk of uh, accidents and injuries by uh, nearly 40 percent and uh, when they work 12-hour uh, shifts. So uh, that wasn't necessarily the desired outcome, but we know that there are ways of improving performance and productivity. And the reason I chose that one is because the health improves simultaneously. But the factories are motivated because of the desire for an increase in productivity. And if we're, if we're trying to induce change, I think that that's one of the most, uh, that's, that's one of the easiest way to get, we didn't have to go out and, and try to drag them in. They were, they were calling us and the phone was ringing off the hook.